biggest robot that can't move. And if you don't understand why this is a problem, you will. Have my babies! But you don't want him to have real water? Ugh. No, it's real water. It just comes with additional stuff, like mercury. <laughs> I'm tempted to risk it for the biscuit. It's a very good biscuit. I do like this biscuit. I mean, he is technically subdued, but he's subdued all the way down. No! But yeah. <laughs>
there'd be a non-zero number of attempts where she tries to German suplex uh, someone. And then, like, the only person that she's able to pull it off to is Aura. <sighs> yeah. So many possibilities. That just seemed the dumbest. Anyway. If Denji could escape to a world where the devils never existed, and assuming he's still bonded to the devils he's contracted with somehow, and he lived in America, and because he's so poor, he qualifies for welfare and thus jam and toast for the rest of his life, what anime do you think actually would make him happy? Okay, so he's escaping to another anime world. Um, and He qualifies for free jam on toast for the rest of his life. In that world. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So this is really difficult because like so many so many of the worlds in anime that have, you know, benefits and things like that, they're effectively just our world. And like I don't I don't wanna like throw him at like just any bog standard isekai stuff because well they, they don't have benefits, right? So I wanna take it to the extreme. I wanna say Night City. I want to say cyberpunk edge <laughs> Oh, so he just fits in. <laughs> Not only does he just fit in, but the benefits are so much worse. <laughs> and it's just like, yep, yeah, he's gonna. He tries to become a nomad, and yeah, it's just oh, that'd be hilarious. Yeah, hundred percent. No, no, no. The point is, he just lives on the street and just gets free food. Yeah, 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 but like it's it's just a case of but the food is so much worse. Oh, right? the is so much worse. But you don't want him to have real water. Ugh. No, it's real water. It just comes with additional stuff like mercury. <laughs> so, a staple theme for magical girls is hope. And as a result, magical girl characters themselves tend to be bastions of hope and perseverance, particularly so through the darkest of despair. But some less cultured individuals might argue that the nature of their abilities and the enemies they fight lessens their value. What magical girl character and their respective anime that survives their own anime could enter the Gundam universe and step away alive without firmly and completely sacrificing their hope? Oh my dear god. Oh my lord. I've got one already, but I just I, I feel like this is this is easy to boo territory. Risk it for the biscuit. I'm tempted to risk it for the biscuit. It's a very good biscuit. I do like this biscuit. There's there's another one and like they do technically count as magical girls, but I don't think there is for Ah, fuck it. I'm gonna do it. Biscuits being risked. It. Wait, what? Uh, it's gonna be uh, Oscar from Magical Spec Ops. Oscar. That's cheating. She's devoid of hope anyway. I've seen that. No, she's anime. not. No, she's <laughs> not. No, she fucking isn't. Right? Like that's the whole fucking reason that she goes back into fighting is because nah, she's you're right. trying to keep the yeah. <laughs> okay. Due to a clerical error, Zeno, Mao Mao has been transported to the world of Death Note. Please describe the climactic showdown and how she subdues Light Yagami. And how many episodes does it take? So, I think it takes a grand total of, is it four or five episodes? Maybe six? No more than seven. Definitely, no, no, it's, it's, it's definitely no more than six, right? It's it's when he's watching the the tv in the crisp packet and he's eating crisps from the packet but he's writing in the death note to to murder people right uh you see what mama will do is she'll she would have laced the um the crisps with some poison and kill him so not subdue just kill no you said you said does that, that that counts that counts it does i mean he is technically subdued but he's subdued all the way down yeah Subdued. Is he subdued? See, I was hoping you were going to go with her slapping the shit out of him, but, you know. Oh, damn! That would have been hilarious. No, but she... Uh, no. No, it'd be, poison it'd be poisoning the crisps. And then, like, how'd you know he'd go for the crisps? I didn't. I just poisoned everything. <laughs> See that TV over there that's uh, in his bag of crisps? That's poison, too. <laughs> See the pen that he was writing with? Poison. See the chair he was sitting on? Poison! That lotion next to his desk? Poison. Wait. <laughs> so he next, is next to his desk? Poison. No! 
But yes. Hey, friends. Normally, this section would be about asking you to help us fund the show and keep improving by visiting patreon.com slash which you should absolutely do so Xeno can keep paying me to edit these. But today, I have a different request. You see, we're looking for volunteers to help with filming. The process is, is honestly really easy. All you need is OBS and VR chat, both of which are available for free, and about an hour's worth of your free time. What are some of the benefits? Well, you see, you get to hang out with me and Zeno for a bit, and you get to preview the show's edited audio, including the Patreon-only section. So if you've ever wanted to listen to those sections, but you know you just you just haven't been able to support the show in that way as, thus far, now you have another way to listen in. There's a link to the application in the description below, or you can join Zeno's Discord, also linked in the description below, where there's a thread for the topic, or you can reach out directly to either me or Zeno. Uh, thanks for your consideration. And now back to the show. Where do you think Kazuma Sato would escape the world of the Demon King 2 if he could take his friends with him? If? Well, because we know that's why he didn't choose to go back to Earth the previous time. Which world would he go to if he could take his friends? <laughs> the one that came to mind, and this is not my answer, is it like uh, Barakamon or something like that, where the the kids have to pilot the mech, and when they pilot the mech, they die. <laughs> Kazuma would just get the other three to go in the mech and die, <laughs> leaving him alone. But that, like the world would be doomed. But um, I'm just trying to think, what what uh, what world would he? go to oh you know i've not properly watched it but i think there's uh is it princess reconnect where it's it's, it's like they're they're trying to live like a normal life as sort of like a small guild and they're trying doing like these little adventures and shit like that and the main protagonist keeps on getting himself killed <laughs> and they have to keep resurrecting him i'm gonna go with that one yeah that one. just for the lols I'd, I'd love to see them intermingle damn it i should go with tanya Fuck, I should, that, I'm changing my answer, going with Tanya. Okay, so I got Tanya the evil. We, we, we love it. So, of your entire encyclopedic roster of characters you know and enjoy in anime, up to five can join you on an adventuring party into a dungeon. For you to survive, the team must be powerful enough to slay any potential threats, but not so powerful that they would cause environmental damage and cause the dungeon itself to collapse entirely. Who would you pick? Up to five. Okay, Roxy from Mashaka Tensei. Now Fumi from Rising of the Shield Hero. Goblin Slayer. Revy from Black Lagoon. Revy's a good choice. She would make you feel bad about even trying to talk to her. Oh, no, we're here. We're, we're there to survive. Ooh! Ooh, and Elias from Ancient Biggest Bride. Yeah, that. Them. They rock it. There were so many other options. I was just like, no, they'd cause a cave-in. No, nope, they'd cause a cave-in. No, nope, they'd 100% cause the mountain to collapse. Speaking of silly power scaling, Rimuru Tempest gains abilities from the people he eats using his skill Beelzebub. He also collects waifus. Who would he need to eat, and what power would he get that would help him defeat Issei Hyoto and win himself the ultimate harem? Oh my god! Uh, what's the name of the main character from uh, Farming Life in Another World? Oh fuck. Yeah, I can't remember him, but like him, 100% him, because like, you know, he doesn't even try yet. He pulls, you know. He says, hey, do you want do you want to eat a carrot? Have my babies. What? Hey, I've grown these grapes. Do you want to make some wine? Have my babies. What? How would that help him defeat Issei Kyoto, though? No, well, uh, no, no, no. Wait, hold, I thought by defeat, I mean I thought you meant pull all the ladies. Was that, is, were we not on the right I page? mean, I, yeah, that that can work. He can defeat him by leaving him, like... Let, made him uh, lost. Yeah, that, is, that yeah. is true. That is fair. I was expecting combat, but... Okay, fine. He uses the magical tool and then just like, throws it through Issei's heart. It's the power of love. Love in the mirror and love's in you. What the fuck? How would the bio-boosted armor Giver behave if Sho was ripped out of it by a mysterious gravitic event occurring in Combat Agent 6's desired universe where he got to do good things for a bad reason, and Combat Agent 6 bonds with bio-boosted armor Giver? And ideally, what universe would they go to? But that's a side thing. So, if 6 gets Unit 1 and 
I don't know if he would change universe. I think he would just go back to Earth and then just take over the Earth for himself. And is it a Kusaragi Corp or whatever the name of the organization yeah, is? Yeah, whatever they are. Yeah, them. Like, he would just take over them and just, like, you know, he would turn all the... The, his harem, you know, he'd, he'd force them into a harem with him and, you know, just stuff like that. Uh, he, he's not an okay dude. He's, he, he, he a bad man. He, he no, he no, he no bueno. Uh, and then he'd go back to the other world and then take over that too. And then he would just start taking over worlds. And then he would, no, he wouldn't look to mass produce. Yeah, that's it. He'd just take over worlds and make an even bigger harem and just okay. mold the body. Okay, but what does that have to do with Giver? He has the power to do it. No one can stop him. Oh, because Giver is new bullshit infinite. Yeah. Okay. Like, there is Giver, then there's Giver Gigantic, and then there's Gigantic Exceed, and it's just like, okay. So, generally, despite the genre, any anime that dabbles in uh, levels of culture is well aware of mythos and the supernatural. As such, even uh, subjects of such that have the power to overwhelm your average person by the tens is inclined to hide away for their own safety. Excluding any anime that has historically had a vampire in it, which one do you think would be most well-equipped to identify and handle one, especially given one so bold as to flaunt some of their more generic abilities for fame? So to confirm, which anime that hasn't already had a vampire in it would be good to deal with a vampire? Yes. Okay, so the two that I'm not going to go with uh, I've already mentioned before, so it's Goblin Slayer, right? I think I think he would he would come up with some concoction to like blow up the castle that the vampire was in, or you know he'd come up with some crazy bullshit like set up millions of mirrors like throughout the the castle just to, to you know microwave the vampire. Uh, the other option is <laughs> um, Konosuba, which has already been mentioned before, and I, I'd love to see. The, the 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 quadro the, the four of them basically the 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 the, squ the, the cuboid of victory anyway the um i'd like to see the four of them <laughs> uh deal with a vampire quote unquote somehow considering we've already had antics with succubi uh but the one i'm actually gonna go for is handyman saitao right the fact that they were able to stop a giant pillar by freezing time and the wizard just became like an unstoppable it's it's, it's like it's it's D, D shenanigans right and i'd love to see how they would handle dealing with a vampire i think they'd do it fantastically anyway inside okay Zeno, you get to transport marin to any fantasy world you desire this world canonically exists in the world that she comes from and she is a fan of it what world are you going to put her in, and how fast is the main character going to file a restraining order? As the giant cosplay nut that she is, I think it would have to be Nier Automata. And I don't think 2B would be able to get a restraining order because she's human. Uh, and she cut, you know, glory to mankind and everything. So, yeah. She'd probably just, like, steal 2B's clothes or something like this. Well, that's weird and cringy. And that's where we come to our first taboo. Would you like to uh, check my name? Yeah, I thought it would happen. There you go, Nero Automata. Now that we have been collectively cursed by the words of Zeno's brain transmitting his thoughts, let us all take a few hours and contemplate our existence away from him. Peace out, broskies.